Southern Plains Medical Center presents your hometown medical minute and your host, Al Brock. Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to our podcast, Your Hometown Medical Minute. I'm your host, Hal Brock, and with me as always behind the cameras, our IT director, Mr. Ed Harrison. So, Ed, we were able to make it through another busy week here at Southern Plains. Had a lot of rain, had a 50 degree day yesterday, but what do you expect? It's May in Oklahoma, but a very busy week, and the weather seemed to play along this past weekend. As Southern Plains, we got to go to a couple really cool events. Want to talk to them about them real brief. Uh, this past Saturday, we were downtown Chickasha for a YMCA program, Chickasha Open Streets. Had a wonderful time. Vendors from all across town and businesses set up shop downtown, had games for kids, music, healthy foods, water. They had a dance contest, a mixed martial arts presentation. It was a really fun time. Thank you to Emily and Stacy, our nursing staff, for going out to the event and providing free blood pressure screenings for the community. It was an awesome time. And then Ed, on Sunday, we went over to Anadarko and we were downtown Anadarko with 98.5 KACO and the Anadarko Chamber of Commerce for their annual Cinco de Mayo party. And man, that too was a blast. So we're always so happy to get out into the communities that we serve. Um, we're looking forward to Paul's Valley, the OK Newling Festival here coming up in June. June and uh, in Maysville we're also going to have a mini health fair kind of a cookout there at Casey Jones practice there downtown Maysville so really cool events coming up of course uh, we always try to be heavily involved in the communities we serve um, because we are in the community I actually do some local broadcasting with George Plummer like I mentioned at cool 105 um, but alongside Howie Jackson uh, doing play-by-play -play, we broadcast the Chickasha High School football team and high school football, of course, in Oklahoma and Texas, it's everything. It's just right below OU football, so it's a really big deal. And here in Chickasha, it's a big deal. And the Fighting Chicks are poised to have a great season this year, and I'm looking so much forward to it. Um, and today, I wanted to bring on a guest, a really a resource we have here at Southern Plains that um, it's a luxury. Not a lot of places have this. And so we have a very strong partnership here at Southern Plains with Valor Health. Health, and Valor provides physical therapy for all of Southern Plains locations and they office right here out of our Chickasha location at 2222 West Iowa. But my guest today is their marketing liaison, Bobby Ratsliff. And man, I say marketing liaison, but she does so much. She helps with the therapies. Uh, she helps with scheduling. She does literally wears all sorts of hat. And so she, she is going to come up and talk to us today specifically about this new cool and it's a Bobby Bio Sway Machine. And they have this, Valor Physical Therapy does, at all 19 locations here in Oklahoma. And this is really neat. So Ed, what it does is it's essentially, it's a machine. And so anybody that plays any contact sport can get on this machine and what it'll do, it'll be kind of like a, a pre-screen uh, for a concussion protocol. And so then during the season, if they took a big hit or they were involved in a big hit or anything that could have affected or given a concussion, they'll get back on that machine. And now we can uh, compare what their screenings were before the season, what they were at impact, and then how we can kind of progress them and get them back healthy and get them back on the field. Of course, man, concussion is such a hot topic with CTE and a lot of sports and football. It's huge right now in the NFL. So I really think this is a service that everybody should utilize. And guess what? It's absolutely free. So if you have a student, a kid, a youth that plays any type of sports, really pay attention to this. Bobby's going to walk us through one of these uh, tests, the protocol. You'll get to see it. It's real easy, real simple. It's free. So make sure you're taking uh, you know, advantage of this resource here. And so we're going to bring Bobby up and we're going to talk about Valor Physical Health. We're going to talk about this bio sway machine. You're going to get to see the test. But first, we're going to go down to Southern Plains Vision Associates and check in with our correspondent, Frankie Brantley, in her segment, Seeing Clearly with Frankie Brantley. Hey guys, hope you had a great 
great week and hope you have a great weekend as well. Um, today I wanted to go over six common mistakes that people who wear contacts often make. So for the first one, it's not drying and washing your hands properly before putting in your contacts and taking them out. Obviously your hands collect a lot of germs. And the second one is wearing your lenses longer than recommended. Um, that is nothing but breaching for infection. So you definitely want to make sure that you are taking them out and replacing them as often as you need to. Um, and that leads us into our next one, which is not replacing the contact lens um, case properly. And so they recommend you do that every three months. And obviously you want to clean them in between in the three months uh, span. And you definitely don't want to sleep in your contacts overnight. And that's going to cause also again infections. And then reusing your old contact solutions, you don't want to do that. Your saline solutions in re-wetting drops do not disinfect your contacts. Um, so you make sure you've got the right solution, the proper solution. Wearing your lenses while swimming can lead to serious sight threatening um, infections. I did not know that until today. And actually, whenever you are in a hot tub, a swimming pool, a shower, anything, um, even tap water can make you have an infection if you're wearing your contact lenses. So feel free to give us a call at 592-3937. All right, I'd like to welcome our guest, Mrs. Bobby Ratsliff. Bobby, thank you so much for taking your time coming up here to talk to us. Thank you. I'm really excited. Man, me too, because you guys have some really awesome things, and we're going to talk about some cool things. So Bobby is with our partner, Valor Physical Therapy, and so you guys run all of our physical therapy for Southern Plains Medical Group. Yes, we do. Well, it's such a great fit. I mean, you guys, uh, you know, a tremendous track record. I mean, you guys have resources all over Oklahoma, which is just great for patients right. I mean, when you're able to have right that. we have a rehab hospital downtown Oklahoma City and we have 19 clinics statewide wow. that we have access to for physical therapy including also some outpatient long-term rehab centers so, Holy cow, and a hospice program and really? a new program called pace that helps elderly patients now Valor pace program and I mean that's catching mm -hmm. a lot of news I mean yes. that's a big thing it's here a Oklahoma. very new thing here we're the yeah. first one in Oklahoma that offers it so. that's awesome yes well let's maybe touch on that here okay. in a little bit we do have a lot of cool things to talk about I you know so I broadcast some of the chickens or all the chickens high school football right, games, right and so I'm really into high school sports here and you guys have a new technology that helps as far as concussion protocol screenings, right? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Um, all of our clinics, including the one here in Chick Shade, we have what we call a BioSway index machine. What we do is um, we can offer before the, the um, season starts, we can have players come in. They come, we do a free baseline screening for them. We can measure where they're at before, and then if they have a concussion or are suspected of a concussion, yeah. then we can run them on the machine again. No charge, we're just trying to help wow. people out to make sure we keep the kids safe, make sure they return to sports in a safe manner. And it only amazing. takes a matter of like five minutes to do the test. Well, it's so amazing, and it's such a big topic, especially right now in football. I mean, exactly. that's what everybody's talking about. And it's, exactly. Because it's so prevalent. Right. Um, and to have something like that and a free option, well, and it just makes sense. I mean, go measure where you're at before the season. Then, right. if you take a big hit, right. now you can go and see where, where you're, you're at, at now, that's and then you right. can kind of de-escalate yourself back. Exactly. And that's what we try to encourage people to do. We want to work with parents, coaches you know school staff anything that we can do to keep the kids as safe as possible yeah. also we want to help them to return to sports as quickly as possible in the safest manner so nice. we can if we do to detect a concussion we can work with their doctor their trainers the coaches to help them build a good concussion protocol to get back into the sport yeah. fast but in a very safe manner that is incredible and let's so we're going to take a look at that machine. Yes. You're going to kind of run me through it yes. and take a look at it. Yes. That's yes. going to be awesome. We can do that. So I first, kind of introduce yourself, okay. kind of tell us where you're from and what brought you to Chickasha and to Valor Physical Therapy. Right. Well, my name again is Bobby Ratsliff. I live with my husband and son in Lindsay, Oklahoma. I've been working with Valor for over 10 years um, at various locations that they have across the state. We opened the clinic here in Southern Plains in August of 2016. Okay. I came to the clinic in um, November of 2016 and I run the front office. I help do the screenings and I help with um, some of the physical therapy. I help the therapist with the patients. So. You do the mark. I mean, you do. I do. You wear so many hats. <laughs> I, I mean, do. you're running but all over the place. Because I love the company. I yep. really in love working for our company. It's a great company. We really try to keep a small town feel with, you know, a big company. 
but also I love working with the patients. I, I've been in the medical field for over 20 years and wow, okay. I feel that physical therapy is a place that allows me to really get to know the patients. Because like in a doctor's office, sometimes they only get to see the patient for five minutes. We see the patient for up to three, you know, an hour to hour and a half, two for to three sure. times a week. So I get to build good relationships with people and help them get better. No, you absolutely do. And also we do a lot. We like to work with the doctors. We're um, trying to build a new program with like Dr. Deaver and Dr. Maloof with some of the elderly patients for a fall prevent prevention also. Okay, now that's really cool. And we were kind of talking about that just before. So right. now that same machine, the BioSway machine. Yes, exactly. I can run them to, through a real similar test to the, uh, the concussion screening. It helps measure their ability to stand and to react to balancing issues okay. so we can judge if they are in a fall risk and then also then we can put them through our fall risk program to help them regain better mobility in their legs and body and you know increase their or decrease their likelihood of falls that is so cool i mean it's a you know you don't really think about it but it's a huge issue i mean oh I, anytime yeah. if you have a grandmother or like my mother who is 80 fixing to be 81 if she falls and breaks her hip she's in a hospital yeah. and whenever yeah. they fall and break a body part at that age and they go into the hospital the risk of pneumonia and death right. i mean that's yeah. huge let's real quick let's show them the concussion okay. because i think this is awesome i think it every is, high school student oh, every yes. student that plays a contact sport yes. should come and do this basketball I mean, football baseball soccer yeah anybody that plays contact sport or wrestling you think you're going to have some kind of head injury we want to make sure we try to protect them as much as possible and it just takes literally five minutes for me to get a screening on them i mean five minutes you got a pre-screening you can come you can measure where you're at after right. you take that big hit and right then, like you said you can get back to normal and that's our main goal is to decrease any future issues try to because anytime you have a huge hit and you have a bad concussion you're going to have some issues but we're going to try to decrease get you back on focus and okay you know, so this is really neat we're going to get an inside look at Valor Physical Therapy's BioSway machine. Now this, Bobby, like we were just talking about, yes. this can be used for like a concussion protocol pre-screening. Yes. And so we can kind of get a measure of where they're if at. they're at beforehand. Okay. Then if we have a big hit, we're suspecting they have a concussion, come back, I put them on the machine again, run them the exact same That's test. Awesome. And we get new measurements and we can see how far they are from their initial one. Okay. And that'll let us know if they do have a concussion. Awesome. So, okay. Yeah. So, Anita is going, so Anita does so much here and I didn't just mean to introduce you here, but she's our patient services director. She deals with all of our customer patient relations, um, our customer service representative. So, first off, thank you so much for coming thank down you. here. So, Bobby's going to run some tests and we're going to use you as, uh, as our test subject. Okay. Um, the BiosWay, we run four tests for the concussion screening. We do two of them with the flat surface. Um, with one will be with your eyes open, one will be your eyes closed. It's 30 seconds a piece. Each time we do the test, we just ask you to stand as still and quiet as possible. Then we'll put a foam surface, which makes your mind think and have to work a little harder to work on your balance. And this will give us our baseline. So I'm gonna have you just step up on the machine to begin with. It is going to watch her as she naturally stands there. We all naturally kind of move back and forth as we're standing. So this is measuring how much of a natural sway she has. And this is whenever somebody has a head injury, a concussion, their natural ability to remain in a very centered position is affected and they'll have more of a sway range. Okay. So now we did that. The next one I'll need you to have your eyes closed when it gets done. So now we'll start. Just close your eyes. And I'll just stand here just to make sure I we don't want you to fall. <laughs> I'll catch you too. Yeah. <laughs> now you can rest. I'm gonna have you step down. I'm gonna put the phone back on here. Oh my. So yeah, that's really good. Now cool. here comes the fun <laughs> part. So, so what you've step. added is it's, it's not a, a complete firm. No, it hip, is a right? slightly okay. firm piece of foam okay. that is built for the machine. <laughs> and what it does, this increase, because now we've taken another sense of okay. a firm surface, your body's going to have to naturally react to an unstable right. surface. So like if you're running on a field, sometimes they're not completely flat, they for have little sure. divots or something like that. Now your body's going to have to be able to react a little quicker. So this is going to be able to judge the reaction time quicker. That's awesome. Which is whenever you have a concussion, you're not able to react as quickly to stuff. That's one of the symptoms to it. And you would think just the engagement too. When yes. you're when you're not in a concussed state, right. you're more engaged. Right. So this yeah. Cool. Right. Cool. All righty. Last one. Eyes closed. So but this is why it's so critical to get a baseline on our athletes. Sure. 
because when we come back, it's going to be allow us to really measure and make sure they're good. You got five more seconds here. We'll see. Three, two, one. Good. Now you can open your eyes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Step off. You know, you have a, a little more color to that one. <laughs> well, no, that's, that, but that's okay. Now we're going to look at the results oh, here. Oh, wow. Cool. And, um... What we're trying to do, as we can see, most of our athletes are going to probably be right here in the green. Hers was a little bit off. We did have her talking. She was kind of laughing yeah, a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, we try to make it pretty serious with like the you athletes. You need to. But whenever we come back, so this is our baseline. We're going to turn okay. it off. We'll put it in a file for her. When she comes back and we measure her again, um, if she had a head injury. We'll be able to tell, like, if her baseline's here, but all of a sudden she's way over here, no. then we know there's something yeah. wrong. Mm -hmm. So we're going to want to start working with her on starting to get that balance back. And, you know, we're going to work with the doctor on, you know, we'll probably have to do some, you know, working in the room with her eyes closed, do different things like that. There's a whole concussion protocol that they follow on Bobby, that. Bobby, this is a game changer. I think yes. every high school really needs to take a look at this. Yes. Middle school, I mean... High school, middle back, schools, oh my gosh. you know, and like I say, we're just trying to help the community. Yeah. We we are we value the community so much, and we value our kids so much, especially with me being a parent. I want to make sure my child, you know, even though he's six, he plays baseball, you know, he could get hit in the head with a ball oh, out in the field. I want to make sure, you know, we've already ran him just so I have a baseline, and I'll do it. We can do it every year just to keep updated to make sure we're as safe as possible for everybody. That is too cool. And as you saw, it didn't take that long. So no. if you could tell us how they can get a hold of you guys. Yes, we're here at Southern Plains Medical Center. You can reach us at either 405-224-8111, which is the Southern Plains number. Just ask for physical therapy. Or we have a direct line at 405-222-9537. We're here usually 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Um, like I say, just give us a call. Let's set up a screening for your child and get you protected. Cool. Hey, Bobby, thank you so much for taking your time. No problem. Coming up near thank, thank you, you so much for, <laughs> for, for jumping on that. Yes. And, hey, uh, we look forward. We're going to do more yes. and more with you guys. Yes. Because you guys do a ton of stuff. Now. We do so much stuff with the physical therapy. A lot of people think, oh, physical therapy, they're going to hurt me. Our goal is not to hurt you, but to help you. For we sure. want you, we try to make it as pleasant and painless as possible. We just want people to get the best results that they can get back to their lives and have or even possible better lives. Well, I absolutely hear nothing but great things from all the patients that have been down thank there. You. So thank you guys so much for being here. They become family. When you become a patient, absolutely. you're a family absolutely. for us. So. Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. All right. Thank cool. you.